Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create this design in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. Before we get started, we need few things. For example, we are going to use this color on this design. And our logo and social media icons. Also, call and website icons. You can download call and website icon and the social media icons from freepick.com. And also we need two important things, this texture. I have downloaded this texture from unsplash.com and this image. I'll try to provide everything in the video's description. So let's see how you can do it. First, we need to create artboard. Go to File, New. I'll choose 1080 by 1080 pixels. Click on Create. This is our artboard because we already have uh, an artboard and all the image inside. I will work on this. I'll close the new artboard and I'll create a new rectangle as our background 1080 by 1080 pixel. Click OK. I'll center it. Uh, choose align to artboard, horizontal center and vertical center. And also I'll put this uh, green color on the background. And for now we are going to use this image. I have to put it on the top. Okay. We will use this image as our background texture. So I'll put it in the center and make it a little bit larger. Also, change the blending mode. Let's see which one shows best. Overlay. Maybe soft light. Yeah. I'll reduce the opacity. Uh, 40% looks good. Also, I will make it a clipping mask, add a rectangle, 1080 by 1080, center align. Select the rectangle and the background texture at the same time. Right click, make clipping mask. Our background is ready. So let's put our text. Before we do that, we need to uh, create a border, which we, our design will be inside. So I will create a rectangle. 50 pixel by 50 pixel and give it a black color. Uh, this looks good. Now I'll uh, press Ctrl R for the roller tools and bring those guides over here. Also put it on the bottom corner and add new guides. I'll delete this for now. Okay. I'll put our logo. We need to put all of those on top. Now I'll add our logo over here. You can give a little bit of spacing. It's fine. Also our social media icon. You can download the social media icon from freepick.com. Okay. This is fine. Now we will add the text. What was it? Today's special organic food. I'll type the text. Today's special. Make it a little bit larger. Organic food. For today's special, I will change the font to something else. Let's go to the character panel. Yeah, this one I have used on in there. And I'll make it a little bit larger. Also make sure center aligned. And I'll change this font to something else. Uh, I know what exactly the font is. It's DCC Ash. I'll try to put the font links in the video's description. So you can download and use it. Okay, let's not make those too large. Put 150. Yeah, your 150 should be good. Central line, size one also central line. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay, this one looks fine for me. 
okay now you can put um, this image on top also center aligned the little bit smaller now we had some text uh, over here i'll just add the dummy text this was the text this text was previously copied on my clipboard so i just pasted this you can put your own text this is just a dummy text let's put it a little bit close yeah it's fine for now i'll leave those as black colors don't worry i will change those later now we need to create a shadow for this for that i'll create a ellipse uh, like this and put white color then go to object create gradient mesh i'll create a four by four four rows for column flat and highlight a hundred percent and click ok this is fine now okay with the direct selection tool click on the uh, middle uh, anchor point and give it the black color also now we need to change the blending mode to multiply yeah it looks perfect so i'll put it over here of course behind the image if it looks too rough you can always uh, bring down the opacity it looks better okay i think we can make the uh, image little bit larger yeah this looks better okay now we'll add the white border over here with the direct selection tool selected i'll curve this and i'll give those this white color put it in the back all of them and also center aligned okay i'll make it a little bit smaller this looks fine to me so i'll make the text a little bit bigger okay give me a second because of the anchor point it's not resizable now we can just reduce the size to r yeah it looks perfect to me let's make all of them a little bit bigger this one a little bit smaller and this sorry this white one a little bit larger it's totally up to you how you want it this is the way how i designed it so i am trying to recreate the exact look that's about it i'll make it center aligned also make it little bit smaller and little bit more spacing we can put it little bit on top yeah that's perfect and also uh, make this corner curve okay we are almost there now we need to put our bottom uh, informations so for that we have our call icon i will add the text okay i will change the font to monserrat character panel Monserrat Samuel, let's try 22, maybe 23. Yep, that should be fine. I will align with the call icon. Okay, also, I will uh, bring down the web icon and copy the text. 
same thing center aligned and now i'll change the website www website.com okay uh, change the font color to this color this black okay this looks perfect i'll group this and put it on the right this looks fine okay group them center aligned you can now ungroup now we also had a button over here so i will add a button also the same size as these icons okay this looks fine as center aligned you can make the icon as large as you want i'll uh, give it the white color this white and type the text move now align with this change the font color to this one this black and we can change the font to a little bit more bold and curve those corners a little bit down would be perfect a little bit more okay also change all the font color um, this three to this ash black now we had some elements over here over here and on the bottom we we'll recreate those first uh, we need to create the offer 50 percent off for that I will use uh, ellipse of course with the same green color I will write 50% uh, off 50% and I will copy this and type off we can make the off text medium or lighter and this one little bit more bold black yeah black is fine yep this one is fine center aligned i'll make it a little bit larger and we had one more thing i will copy it and control shift v paste on top make it a little bit smaller remove the fill color and add a stroke color pure white because we can change it later and we'll go to the brush panel and choose this brush by the way you can always use your own brush for the example with this one i used my own brush uh, because I, I don't want to create a new brush from scratch for right now so that's why I'm just showing you this. You can always create your own brush and put it in there. Uh, select this and go to object, path, outline path. So it become outline. I'll select the brush and the text. Make them white. This white, pure white. I'll group them. Now we need to put it over here little bit smaller maybe but the problem is it's matching with the background for because of that we need to add a shadow so we'll create a new shadow with the same procedure for right now i will create a ellipse same object create gradient mesh four by four select the middle anchor point and give it a black color okay so for now we need to make it a little bit uh, of those around because we need more black i'm just trying to cut out the white part nothing else you can use this as it is uh, try to just make it a little bit larger that would be fine so i'll change the blend mode to multiply 
and put it over here. Okay, I think we have a problem because the white color I used, this is not a pure white. That was not pure white. We need to make sure that is a pure white. With uh, the color code is FFF, six Fs. And now we can re add the black. That's fine. Okay. Now we need to put it behind the offer. Make it a little bit larger. Ah, this perfect. Okay, we can group those. Now we will create this extra element. For this, we need to create an ellipse with the white color. This white. We can use any white color. The ellipse size really doesn't matter. I'll select all of those. Okay, align those. Group them. I'll copy them with holding the control key. And recopy them a few more times. Like uh, this much is fine. I'll group all of them and put them over here. As you can see, this is too large. I'll make it a little bit smaller. A bit too small. Okay, let's see. Okay, we can make a copy of this. We can uh, make a little bit more smaller and a copy of this uh we used a gradient over here on the main design we are fading the element so i will do the same over here i'll go to my gradient panel and choose this gradient on the dark color i will just change it to white again and the opacity to zero so with the gradient, all of them selected, uh, select the gradient tool and drag from top to bottom. So the top designs will be visible 100% and the bottom design will be not visible. I'll do the same over here. You can put those uh, wherever you want. For this part, I will just reverse the gradient. You can always go to the gradient panel and uh, reverse the gradient over from over here same thing okay now behind the main grocery photo we had a special element uh, let me just show you which it was this element uh, let me just show you what it is exactly ungroup it this is the element we are using over here you can always create your own element like this let me show you how you can uh, do that So for uh, in order to create this element, I will go to the brush panel and this is the brush panel. Uh, double click on the brush panel and the fidelity must be smooth and click on OK. Now I'll create a brush like this. Sorry, on the brush panel, I change the default brush, the basic brush. Why? It's not changing. Maybe something wrong. Okay, we need to change it from over here. I think it will work. Exactly not what I'm looking for, but. Okay, let's see now. For some reason, uh, my brush is automatically changing. So let's see. Okay, now it will work. I don't know what happened in there. So. Uh, I'll uh, make it a little bit less stroke and create a brush like this. Okay. Then for this uh, elements, uh, we'll create a leaf like this for just once. So I'll go to the brush panel. It's totally up to you how you want them. You can take your time and create the perfect leaf. I'll just expand those and group them. Also create a brush from this leaf. I'll leave it like this, little bit 
shrinked. Okay. You have to just drag and drop on the brush panel. Select add brush. Click OK. And you can align them however you want. Click OK. Now with the brush. Sorry. No, I'll deselect this one. Okay, with the brush tool selected and this brush, I'll just draw. You can take your time and create the perfect leaves. I am just showing you the method how I did it. If your brush is good, uh, your design will be much better. This is the procedure and same with this one. It's just some ellipse uh, with the single stroke. So that's how you can create this element. So I'll uh, copy this element and try to replicate this. Okay, I'll copy one more time. This may be a bit too much. Okay. Group them. I don't want to show up more. For now, I'll uh, right click and reflect it. Transform, reflect, copy. I'll put it over here. Select all of them, group them, center aligned. Put it behind the main grocery image. Okay, it's behind the main grocery image. Now uh, we will uh, reduce the opacity like 25 to 30%. We have some uh, few more changes we need to do. So, for example, this color looks not good in my eye. Okay, now that looks much better. And everything looks good. And this is how we have created the design in a Illustrator. If this video was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up. If you have any question, you can always ask me on the comment section. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next video.